Hello everybody and welcome to Trombone First Aid. Last year I presented a series of videos where I explained my ideas and concepts about uh, basics for trombone playing and brass instruments in general. This year I would like to continue this series applying those concepts to everyday practice. I will select exercises from Arbans, Koprash, Bordogni, and if you have any other suggestions, please write down in the comments. And let you see what is my uh, routine, how is my approach to these basic exercises. In the description of some of the next videos, I will also put alternative exercises. So I will give you, uh, I don't know, transposition in different keys or different tonalities of the same exercises. This will come a bit later, because at the moment I have not so much time. I will anyway take into account all the ideas I explained in my previous videos. So if you don't know them or if you don't remember, just take a look at this uh, playlist called Trombone First Aid in my channel. I will just post in the balloons up there when I call one of these concepts. Also for me, it was very important and useful to present this series of videos last year because I could really learn a lot. Playing is just a matter of breathing, blowing and executing what's written on the musical sheet, maybe adding an appropriate musical taste to it. Besides this, which is essential, we really need to go into details. There is no shortcut, there is no fast lane to get to higher quality level than going down, going deep into details and caring about each note, the attacco, the body, the shape of the exiting, the relationship with the uh, musical period. So whatever you can study on your music piece, it's enriching your experience and giving more meaning to what you are doing. It's a bit like Dante's Divina Commedia. In order to go to the heaven, you have to go through the hell and purgatory. This of course is not going to be an alternative to a real teacher. I will invite you to go find a good one. But sometimes it's useful to hear the same concept uh, with different words and different examples. This is what I was looking for when I was younger, 20 years ago, and at the moment I could not find. So I just thought it would be useful for some of you, especially beginners, to have another point of view, another way of saying what every good book is saying. If you find all this material interesting, please put like under my videos and see you in the next episode. Ciao!